and make the world go away. Whoops. Hey there. Sorry about that. You caught me in another embarrassing moment, I see. Just doing some karaoke. I love the music from Eddie Arnold, Jim Reeves, Johnny Cash, and others. A bit of a blast from the past from when there was country and western music, if you will. Anyway, let me cut out the foolishness, get down to business, and talk about getting something on your shoulders. If you are like me, then you have a plethora of holsters, especially for hip carry IWB and or OWB and or appendix carry. You may also have a couple of shoulder holsters in the drawer, or not. While I have relied on the Gelco Miami Classic 2, Gelco Miami Classic Lite, and Felco shoulder holsters to house pistols with various lengths around four and a quarter inches and shorter, and also for snubby revolvers. I was in a full-size government model 1911 or large frame firearm is another story. Today, I want to tell you about a unique shoulder holster system that I have for carrying a five inch barreled government model 1911, the Falco Roto Shoulder Holder System. Now I have carried a full-size 1911 for more years than I care to count. Normally, the 1911 is carried in a hip holster, but due to back problems and some surgeries, I needed to shift my carry to something that would keep the burden of carrying a 1911 or a revolver off of my hips. I have had an eye on this holster for quite a while, but it was so unique that I held off purchasing one until I finally broke down and bought one just to test its uniqueness. However, once adjusted, worn, and practiced with, I can say without hesitation that this holster is a definite keeper and a holder for my most precious personal protection cargo, the 1911. Felco Holster states that the Roto, as I prefer to call it, is a, quote, Vertical shoulder holster designed for vertical carry. It contains a Roto holster, cross shoulder harness, double magazine pouch for pistols or speed loader pouch for revolvers, and the belt tie down straps. The unique roto design allows a horizontal draw. Removing the thumb brake strap allows you to tilt the holster and draw horizontally. It comes with an open muzzle and steel reinforced thumb brake to ensure security and reliable retention. The harness is adjustable up to the size 47 inch chest circumference and 23 inch top shoulder to waist length. If you need a bigger size, you can ask for any measurements required. The holster comes in mahogany or black, and it is available for a right and left-handed shooter. This shoulder holster is made of 1 8 inch premium Italian leather stitched with precision only our skilled craftsmen can deliver. Hand molded on the exact replica of your gun for a perfect fit, hand dyed, whaled, and lacquered on the premises. Truly handcrafted piece, that comes with a lifetime warranty. End quote. Now, let me show you, and tell you, the real skinny on this holster. The system is primarily comprised of three major parts, the harness, the roto holster, and the counterbalance, which can be a dual magazine carrier for semi-automatics or a dual speed loader carrier for revolvers. Other components are the strong side and offside tie-down straps that are not simply add-ons, they are a part of the system. The shoulder holster rig is designed for vertical carry. However, the roto feature, which is the most interesting part, allows for a 45 degree horizontal draw. When the retention strap is released, the holster can be tilted, which results in both better drawing cant and a much quicker draw than a conventional vertical holster system. If you have ever tried to pull a full-size pistol or revolver from a vertical holster, we can probably agree to the difficulty of doing so, and probably is why so many badmouth vertical shoulder holsters. The roto holster should keep the bad mouthing at bay, 
unless you are just one of those who likes to badmouth about every little nitpicking detail. Moreover, the roto part of the holster also functions as another protective layer of leather. The holster features an open muzzle design. The holster offers a perfect glove-like fit for your handgun, which is a result of wet molding techniques applied in its production. The main holster body is hand molded in the exact replica of your pistol or revolver. This makes the fit of the holster both tight and snug at the same time. The harness is adjustable up to extra large size, but you can ask for harness customization if you are of a slightly bigger build. The belt tie-down straps can be used for improved stability, although this shoulder system is well balanced and stable enough even without it. With that said, I took most of the slack of the counterbalance strap to get the magazine carrier position where I need it. More on that later. This shoulder system comes in two different colors, mahogany and black. The system is also available in both right and left-handed versions. Moreover, this custom leather shoulder system comes entirely assembled. I decided to go with the black version to separate this one from my other shoulder systems. Truthfully, I was at first concerned about this shoulder holster system for a 1911 that would be carried condition 1, cocked and locked. I am used to a holster with a thumb breaker of which the strap rides between the hammer and the slide. The roto holster has no thumb brake, but instead has a retention strap. The retention strap, however, does cover the trigger guard, but its primary purpose is to release the holster so that it pivots. With that said, there is enough tension of the holster itself to keep the pistol from falling out if you are bending forward. The harness is wide around the back of the neck and on the shoulders for better comfort, which is important to me due to a broken right clavicle. Any excess weight on my right shoulder can be uncomfortable over time. Luckily, my right side is where I carry spare ammunition in the double magazine carrier and that side is not bearing the weight of the 1911. Each strap is anchored at a large one-piece leather hub with rivets that do allow for movement of the straps. Harness attachments to the holster and magazine carrier are nylon and very well made. Each harness strap length is adjusted by selecting the desired position of the holster and magazine carrier and then using the Chicago style screws and nuts to secure the harness at the position you want. There are also metal keepers that can slide up and down to assist in keeping the straps aligned. There are also plenty of adjustment holes to choose from. I'll talk about adjusting the regulator. The Italian leather of the harness is excellent. Not too stiff and not too flexible, but yet flexible enough to provide the comfort you need when wearing the rig. The holster itself is form-fitted to your particular firearm. Each holster is hand-formed by one individual. This is not a production holster where one mold is used to fit all. The holster will take some break-in when new, and I suggest I refer to the information at the Felco website for properly breaking in the holster. The color balance between the harness, holster, and magazine pouch is close, but not perfect. The holster and magazine carrier have been polished at the factory, while the harness retains a more natural, flat look to it. All in all, the contrast between components is very pleasing. The tie-down straps for the holster and magazine pouch are also of leather and provide stabilization of the rig. Dual mounting points on the holster mate with dual mounting snaps of the tie-down, which actually has three snaps. There is no tie-down strap adjustment except for positioning the snaps to one or both mounting points on the holster. The offside, magazine or speed loader side anchor strap uses snaps to secure the carrier to the belt. The holster side anchor strap also uses snaps for easy on and off operations. Unlike a holster with a thumb brake, the roto holster requires that you use a finger to release the retention strap. Actually, this is a good design. As the pistol is drawn from the holster, the trigger finger is in line with the trigger of the firearm, just as it would be on a horizontal draw holster. One thing that I was concerned with 
is any interference with the thumb safety on the 1911. Even on a hip holster, I prefer that no sweat guard be present, as it could, when drawing the pistol from the holster, cause the thumb safety to light down into the fire position, which I don't want until I'm ready to wipe the safety off. The Roto holster offers no interference with the thumb safety. I also wanted to be able to fully grip the handle before drawing the firearm from the holster. A good grip on the firearm option when ordering the holster allows this. The dual magazine carrier shares the same quality as a holster. Two tension screws allow you to adjust the tension on the magazines so that they just don't fall out of the holster when the retention strap is released. The magazine carrier is vertical, although I would prefer it to be horizontal for easier access to spare magazines. However, the magazine carrier can be adjusted with a bit more forward cat at the bottom if that suits your needs better, as it does mine. The Felco Rotor Holster, while compact in its design, will not conceal as well as a horizontal shoulder system that tights up tightly under the armpit. The holster, being vertical, rides more on the side of the body, which adds bulk to your profile that you might not want. The proper selection of clothing definitely helps. Bulky clothing is better to hide the rig. For this reason, the rig would be better suited for cooler to cold weather when heavier, bulkier clothing is normally worn. The tie-down straps do allow, but very little, outward movement of the holster. With several layers of outer clothing, holster or mag carrier movement may not even be detectable. I normally wear, year-round, a loose-fitting shirt, usually opened at the front, and a man purse, a non-tactical looking photographer's vest. In cooler weather, the vest is usually heavier, and in cold weather, another layer of coating provides even more concealment. Should you decide that the Felco Rotor Holster will work for you, when you order the holster from Felco's website, you will need to answer a few questions, and we're going to discuss those. First up is the gun manufacturer, the model, the barrel length, and the caliber. Second is the number of rounds in the magazine or speed loader. There are three options for sights, low up to 0.24 inch, high tritium up to 0.32 inch, and red dot sight. And then there is the hand option. Are you a righty or a lefty? Next is whether you want a good grip on the firearm with a partially covered trigger guard or a fully covered trigger guard. Next comes the color, mahogany or black. Finally, do you desire initial embossing? And if you do, would you like the embossing on the front of the holster or the rear of the holster? Note that some options, like high or red dot sights, a fully covered trigger guard, and embossing does cost extra. Also, if you need a longer or bigger harness than what is stock, simply email the custom shop and provide some measurements like chest circumference and top shoulder to waist length. While shoulder holsters do not fit all occasions, they do fit some occasions. For me, I have found them to be agreeable to wear while housing any firearm that I want to carry, with some exceptions, of course. A shoulder system does take a while to adjust so that they fit the body as perfectly as you want them. Be patient, wear it for a week or so, and readjust as necessary before putting it into actual service. For handguns like the Glock Compacts and Subcompact pistols, or a commander and officer like 1911 pistols, a horizontal shoulder holster seems to work just fine. But for longer barrel lengths, the vertical shoulder system is better suited for carrying them. 
The Felco Roller Holster Shoulder System is a fine product and one that can be used with many handguns. In fact, I have ordered one for my Smith & Wesson Model 686 with a 4.125 inch barrel. You may want to check out the Felco Rotor Holster Shoulder System to see if it is a good fit for you. As always, thanks for being with me and stay tuned to my channel for more gun and gear reviews. In the meantime, stay safe out there.